Happy Pakoda Day! Happy Pakoda Day, everyone! If you don't know, Pakoda is a backronym based on the name of journeyman major leaguer Bill Pakoda. Now, all you need to know about Bill Pakoda, he was called up with the Royals in 1986. That's the year after they won the World Series. His last season was with the Braves in 1994, which is significant because that was the striked, shortened, lockout season. And it was also the last year before the Braves went on to win their division 14 years in a row. Pakoda, player empirical comparison and optimization test algorithm. Also known as bullshit. The Pakoda projections are basically an algorithm that take in a lot of stuff and tries to predict the outcome of the upcoming baseball season. And that is why we celebrate Pakoda Day. Because baseball is a game of failure. And I don't think Pakoda's ever been right. Let's take a look back, shall we? The 2023 final standings. NL East. And what Pakoda predicted. Oh, that's right. Pakoda missed the Mets by 21 games. Now, obviously, you can't predict injuries. I get it. And this 1-0 right here, that's the only 1-0 in all of last year's predictions. The NL Central. Pakoda missed the Reds by 15 games. The NL West. Look at all that red. The American League East. Maybe my favorite of all of them. The Orioles were a positive 27 compared to Pakoda, and the Yankees a minus 16. The AL Central. I mean, this one just feels like it's all over the place. Sure, they were close with the Twins, uh, especially that the Twins got first. Uh, but look at the randomness of the rest of the numbers. And even the Royals, they predicted bad, but they didn't predict bad enough. And finally, the AL West. Who you knew that was coming. The Rangers, 12 over, missed by 12. So what about 2024's Pakoda rankings? Let's see what they said, and let's see if you agree or disagree. These are predicted wins by Pakoda. Uh, obviously, the Braves in first. Phillies, Mets, Marlins with respect, and Nationals with absolutely none. National League Central, Cardinals from last to first. Cubs second, Brewers uh, under 500. And the Reds under 500. I mean, the Reds had a much better season last year than what Pakoda predicted. And the NL West, D-backs with some respect, uh, but Dodgers obviously getting all the love and Rockies none. Now, my thoughts out of the National League are Pakoda's got to miss somewhere. And when I say miss, I think from uh, fourth in their division to second or first making the playoffs and making a run. Uh, the Rangers did it last year. Every year somebody does it. The Rangers and, and the D-backs did it last year. So uh, in the National League, I'm really looking at the Reds. That Central seems up for grabs. Even I want to say the Pirates could do it. They've got a nice young core, uh, but I don't know if they have all the pieces around Finally, in the American League, uh, Blue Jays in second here. No respect for the Orioles or the Rays. Yeah, they're both over 500, but we know how competitive that division is. The Central, Tigers finished second last year, uh, and they got the Tigers in third and well under 500. Um, White Sox, obviously, a heap of trouble. Guardians, I feel like people are thinking they're going to have a down year, but here they're still getting second place. And finally, the... West, uh, your champs coming in second here. Uh, Mariners just over 500 Angels A's. So let me know what you think. I think uh, Pakoda is obviously going to miss places uh, in the American League. They have the Rays in fourth in their division. That seems like, I mean, I get it. I get why a machine would do that. Uh, and, you know, I'm a homer, but the Royals in fourth, a lot of people are predicting them better. It seems like that's a possibility. I don't know. Maybe this is the first year Pakoda nails something.